Commit recording. There we go. Okay. Awesome. I'm going to go ahead and call the meeting to order. We have a roll call. Director Stanitza? Here. Director Leach? Here. Thank you. Any public comments? Board? Uh, no, we have no one else on Zoom, and I received nothing via email, and we have no one in the audience. You're right. Some <laughs> dusty chairs. <laughs> All right. Let's get right to the agenda, then. Uh, we'll start with the Community Health and Wellness Center administrator. <laughs> okay. I know we have a lot to do today, so I'll, I'll keep, it, uh, keep it brief, but... We started off, last, I first had to let you know, last night was our first lifestyle change program, the DPD program, yeah. and Bianca knocked it out of the park. She had 17 people there. That's awesome. Our class will be over, like really wanted about 20. We're probably going to end up with a few more than 20 people. So, and that's powered down from a list of over 40 people that had reached out and engaged with us in this conversation about diabetes. And it's still coming, even today, there was another you know, inquiry on the, um, you know, through the website. So um, that was really nice. And having directing people to fill out that very, very simple form on the website has been a great way to engage. We've also had some people complete it on um, Katia, the community resource navigator. So um, there. So that program also is going well. So now remember, she hasn't even at 90 days yet. She has had 14 either done or in the works, 14 clients. All right. Oh, yeah. um, There's a need, yeah. need being filled. There is a need <laughs> being filled. She's doing um, really embracing mm -hmm. and owning it and has done an incredible job of being a sponge and learning mm -hmm. everything to the point now where there's been a few situations that people I had her reach out to, like, you need to go talk to them and learn about them or asking her for resources and she's able to provide them stuff that they weren't aware of. Nice. So it's really, uh, it's really been great. So we're starting to, next month will be more of a launch of her. We just need to make sure all the forms and processes and everything are in place. But she is starting to reach out to the community and some uh, parts of our community that will have high needs. Mm -hmm. So yesterday she had a table at the food pantry um, just mm -hmm. to start engaging the community there and had one person, one new client from that event. She is also gonna be out in, um, in uh, at Valencia School in Rainbow. Mm -hmm. So that principal is really seeing his students have a lot, families have a lot of needs. Right. And um, so he invited us. So she's doing a um, walkathon. We're gonna provide drinks after a walkathon mm -hmm. on Friday. And that will be her first foray into getting to know the communities and building that trust. And so for you, Mike, it's good because all this is, you know, engaging also with the um, Hispanic community. Mm -hmm. So that's, you know, yep. good, um, you know, really, really good stuff going When's on the walk there. Hmm? When is the walkathon? Yeah. Um, it's Friday, Friday morning, I think. So. We should double check because I think Valacitos and Rainbow is split between Jennifer and Barbara's okay. zones. Just to let them know if they want to come out and be present with Kathy. Okay. Just okay. to, you know, and that's, okay. I mean, if a board member wants to be present in the okay. area they're elected from. Okay. Okay. I will put that down and I will get out those things. So the, the other thing that program is doing is that we're already really engaged with the community being, and with our grantees, but this is like a whole nother level of engagement with other organizations that will become aware of us and other organizations that might be doing work in our community, but our paths haven't really crossed. So the amount of um, just connections coming out of all this is, um, you know, really, really exciting um, to see all that come together. Um, on the governmental side of things, uh, we have been asked to participate with the county for um, this Live Well North County Leadership Team. And so me and Katia have been going, and that's been really great. So the discussion has been around homelessness, mental health, and substance abuse. And so we've been part of the group for, um, uh, you know, for mental health. 
And so we've been able to contribute, you know, what's happening here. And so some good stuff is coming out of it. So hopefully the county will, you know, you know, act on some of the uh, information from the group. But that's been great to be able to represent the health district as a leader in the county, as well as, you know, our community, you know, overall, since we, you know, there's most stuff happens down more south. Yeah. Um, so that was good. Um, Is that something I should try to participate in one of the meetings along the way? If you want to, yeah, you're it's more than welcome to. So I'm just trying to yeah. figure out where I should be placing yeah. my time. It's kind of, um, it's a little bit of a think tank style yeah. right now, but yeah. Well. Yeah. So. All right. Yeah, that yeah, um, can you post it up if there's you know, oh, it's once a up? month. I'll send, okay. I'll let you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Um, so it, the um, go getting back to the diabetes, the other thing that's been great with that has been um, our outreach to physicians. So we've done um, several lunch and learns, we have one more next week, although. Our program may be filled by the time they refer anybody, but um, you know that's been uh, that's been a really good thing to make connections because we have a lot of support groups. We you know we have a lot of uh, classes now for mobility like qigong and chair yoga. Um, all of our support groups. So there's a lot of things happening that um, you know some providers could definitely be making referrals and would help their patients. Nice. So learning about those offices, how they work, how they refer, all that uh, is, is happening and will parlay into things in the future. So when we have, we have an arthritis, you know, program where we do the mindfulness-based stress reduction program and which helps with a lot of different, um, you know, uh, diseases, um, we'll have that, you know, communication kind of established. Um, so yeah, mm -hmm. they have posters up in their offices and handouts. And so that's all was really good. Um, we have some fun new things starting. Um, we, Qigong started this month. Um, we've been supporting Hope Clinic with their men's support group. There's an evening event. Um, there's a children's art class that's starting next month through Fallbrook Art Association. And um, we have a, um, one of our current um, providers of chair yoga, Sandra uh, Buckingham, is going to be doing some meditation uh, classes. So we're kind of starting in on mindfulness. So that's uh, so that's all good stuff. Um, Pardon my ignorance, but uh, what is qigong? Thank you. Yeah, kind of like tai chi. Okay. You know, yeah. just like a slow gotcha. movement centering type okay. exercise. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it, it's good for a lot of different health conditions, yeah. um, as well as somebody who wants um, exercise, mm -hmm. but maybe if you have arthritis or yeah. mobility issues, it's really good. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. So that's um, been really great. The other thing in terms of deeper connection in the community, we, um, you know, the San Marcos School of Nursing comes to the center and does screenings, mm -hmm. but we are, they are also we are now buying their supplies because it used to be a former grantee that went away. So their test strips and whatnot. And in return, we created a um, report of the screen that they use at all the sites in Fallbrook that they go to. So when they go to the food pantry, when they go to the senior center and other locations, mm -hmm. um, everything's coming out with you know our logo and our information yeah. um, on it. Um, so we had a few big one in the month of, you know, um, and in the past few weeks. One thing was the other week, we did indeed run out of parking spaces. Whoa. Literally in the whole actual <laughs> upper area, yeah. all those spots. And I, that's awesome. I've forgotten the counts, like 160 spaces. Every spot was taken. We, we only had four events. <laughs> so now we have a whole procedure for you know how that happens Shuffling in the people. calendar. <laughs> yep, we're making signage for parking in the field down below. Oh, yeah, but yeah. that was a first. We wow. actually that's good. Yeah, to know. wow. Yeah. And you know the other thing is that in March we had a lot of people coming to the center. We had um, 963 visits that we counted, and that's not counting people who stopped in mm -hmm. for random other tours and things. Yeah. But wow. yeah, so that's Get busy. A lot. It is, it, you know, it is busy. 
um, and on the kind of like the more the marketing end, we had been trying to gain access to a Google Analytics account that was listed on our website. It was a dead end. I know you're trying to chase that yeah, down. Yeah, I, I chased it down. One. She's been it's chasing it for yeah. a couple months, but yeah, trying to punch just move on. <laughs> everybody to do their part, but uh, we, but we are putting new code on, so we have one. Um, we had a Google Analytics account. It just wasn't that tracking number that was on our website. So now we have that tracking okay. number going on our website. So we'll have some good data, uh, better data there, um, you know, to report on. But um, the rest, you know, so it, it's just been busy. So much good stuff. So much good stuff. The rest of it is kind of standard, whatever, you know, um, reported on, um, you know, before. We still have the flyers. What, when we were in, listening in the news, our email marketing continues to go yep. so good. Um, same with, um, you know, social media. So yeah, I was getting your emails, but I finally discovered that it was going into spam. Oh, mm -hmm. on my mm -hmm. help account. Mm -hmm. Oh, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> so it was there yeah. for a while, then it started disappearing. What, what happened? That's the only problem with with any of the tools like Constant Contact or any of the yep. others. Is that they do have a tendency to get filtered out by people spam yeah. things yeah. until they start to engage with it. Yes. Yeah, it becomes a safe mail space safe box. Right. Yeah. yeah, so we're yeah, we're and so May is turning out to be a busy <laughs> a busy month too. Hey, we're not done with April yet. Uh, <laughs> we're moving on. Moving on. Moving moving on. on. <laughs> it's so last month. Had enough. <laughs> right. Well, this is the time when we are preparing everything, you know, to get ready for May, all the calendars and marketing to yeah, go out. For sure. Yeah. yeah, that's awesome. So good stuff. The trend continues. Yeah. And I did try and redo the way I was showing the attendance so that maybe it's a little bit more meaningful. Like um, so partner I broke up partner health and wellness activities so we can see um what you know, what things that aren't our events, but that are related to that. The other thing I broke out was support groups to kind of get an idea of how many people okay. are coming for support groups. Yeah. And then um, just club and organizational meetings are just that. Before some of the people that were more health related kind of ended up in that group because of the, you know, our relationship with them. Right. So I divided that up to hopefully to make this a little bit more meaningful. Okay. So the zero on the March for COVID is that is that we're are we is yeah, that we're, done? We're yeah, we're done. done. Okay, so I was yeah. thinking about that time. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> we're done, and I can take it off next time. Um, yeah. And club and organizational is basically the non-health private events. Chamber of Commerce maybe flows in. Something Chamber like of Commerce, okay. Encore, right. yeah. um, Angel Society, Republican Women. So all good groups we want to engage with, some movers and shakers in the community. So we use that as an opportunity when they're there right. as much as we possibly can to go and give a little overview. Sure, absolutely. You know, this is what's happening here. Here's yeah. for the month. And so um, taking that marketing moment. Yeah, yeah. No, you do a good job with that. I've been in a number of meetings where <laughs> you take your little spotlight time. Here's yes. what's going on. <laughs> Always very enthusiastic too. I like that. Cool. That, uh, you guys have any questions or anything? No. Bill, you good? No, I don't have any questions. I just want to say thanks. That, that's definitely a very detailed report. Uh, um, I've, I've definitely been following along on um, social media and seeing definitely a lot more posts and whatnot. So uh, definitely looking forward to uh, continuing to see some of that and uh, seeing more engagement out there. Good. Thanks. All right, next topic. Potential mission statement, vision statement, values. Um, so Bill had talked to me about potentially bringing some ideas forward in preparation for the strategic planning meeting. And uh, I said, yep, no problem. Um, I sent this out to you guys. I don't intend to go through this in infinite detail. I really view this as my attempt to try to structure a conversation and leave it to the strategic planning and certainly your team to figure out what fits makes sense. This is based on kind of my observations over a short period of time. And 
uh, kind of walk through the process of how I got to these things. So I, I can go through this in whatever detail you'd like. Um, but I did want to spend some time starting with where we are. So the, the next one is just kind of the current mission, vision, and values. I looked at that, thought about that, um, then went back to some of my history in terms of vision statements, mission statements, values, and started just kind of working some different frameworks. The one I've always liked is the vision statement framework uh, that I've used for a very long time. It kind of structures the conversation. It's a little more difficult in a service type of product. So I had to think about that a little bit more from a product perspective. It's very easy. Your product against your competitors and what you bring to the party. Right. This is unique, but I try to think through that. So I took a shot at some ideas. Um, next slide. Of you know, kind of for the residents of Fallbrook Rainbow Bonzo who need health and wellness services. We are a government agency, special district that partners with community based health programs providers. Unlike non district served communities, our product provides information program services to cover all the community's health and wellness needs. So that was kind of how I tried to structure what we do and how we do it in that framework. Um, and again, Wordsmithing can be done in any many different ways, but this was kind of my where my brain led. Um, I so, like this tool. It actually is probably the most um, consistent way to stay through a process that I've seen be presented here. I'm a big process template, uh, and we, I, we captured this one many, many, many years ago, yeah. and it helps get you thinking about what's really critical without getting a 300 page document. <laughs> Thank you. Um, so the vision statement definition, um, there's many different definitions of this, um, but basically is where you're gonna, where do you wanna be and what do you wanna look like? I always kind of cat cat categorize it as an aspirational goal, something really far out there that just feels almost impossible to get to. Um, but that's how you stretch an organization. That's how you get things moving forward. And that's your beacon for where you set your strategies. Um, so some of the examples that I've come across uh, during my HP days when we were building inkjet printing, when it was at that time, no, no revenue, we were said we're going to be bound for billions. A very simple statement. And it came to pass in about 10 years. <laughs> so it was, uh, everybody looked at it, yeah, right, sure, yeah, whatever. <laughs> but it, it happened and it, we exceeded it. I think you know some of these others are just examples that I found uh, searching the web, looking around, trying to find some examples that might fit here. But you can tell that they're very succinct. They paint a picture, and it feels like something that's an aspirational goal, but it's a goal that it, it can be attained. And that's always, I think, the most important aspect of it. Uh, some of the key questions, you know, what is your true purpose? What do you hope to achieve? Core values, obviously. How does the mission statement align with the core values? And we'll get to that. Um, how does the vision statement align with our culture? So the culture aspect of the organization we try to want to be, the vision should be able to support that and lie inside of that statement. Um, and then the strategic goals for the next five to 10 years. Uh, this is where I think, you know, as we have the strategic planning meeting, uh, when we get those kind of framed out in that kind of a time frame, you're going to be tweaking the vision statement and the mission statement a lot more likely. Uh, but this is kind of where I thought it was at this point. Uh, next slide. Examples. I just threw out some ideas. Um, I try to go really succinct, try to capture this aspect of aspirational. Um, it's hard to do in this kind of a service organization. Uh, when you're talking products and stuff and revenue, you got something. This was a little tougher. So it took me a little time to just kind of wrestle with this a bit, but um, things like best district in California for delivering the highest quality health and wellness services to our served community, nationally recognized health district, trying to again, expand it even more, um, delivering partnerships, programs, and services. Um, and then the last one, creating positive demand for expanded, expanded health and services. This one I flipped on its head a little bit because we all we get some kind of some negative stuff coming at us all the time. What would it look like if it was a positive pull? Why don't you have this program? Why don't we do this? Where is this activity? So um, how do we get to a point where there's actually a, a very strong positive public pull for additional programs or expansion of existing programs? When you start thinking that way, it really flips your mind a little bit in terms of, well, what could we do about that? So that one came as I was kind of wrestling with different ways to, to go after this. So. 
Uh, mission. So once you have your vision, mission, vision, your mission statement, uh, what is our reason for existence? And I gave some examples of the Red Cross and IKEA. Um, I think there were some interesting ones there in terms of how they talk about what they're trying to do. Um, so that's kind of examples of what it might look like. Um, hitting the next slide, uh, I took some shots at trying to figure out our mission statement, having just gone through the grant process and what I've seen so far. Um, we allocate funds to programs, nonprofits, and service providers to improve the health and wellness of our served communities and having longer lifespans and independence. So I took some of the words out of the existing one, worked it a little bit. Um, and then the second one is an inside looking out through, through highly skilled and passionate staff, volunteers, and partners, the Fall River Region Health District allocates funds to support services that increase the health and wellness of our served communities. Um, that, that kind of brings you into it. It ties the organization to what we're trying to do. And it also captures that we are an organization that's responsible for growing these programs and allocating funds. Uh, that's really what it comes down to. So those are the two that kind of popped up when I was going through this exercise. Yeah, the only thing that I would say that we're missing is that that focus on becoming the program provider ourselves. This obviously focuses on the funds we give, mm -hmm. which is great right. and a big piece of it. But as we're starting to develop so many new programs, right. I think we also have to talk about being that service provision. But that's an easy thing, I think, to add in to part of that language. I agree. Yeah, I didn't. I know there's language around being when you say call yourself a provider and how you have to be careful what that means. Right. Not, you know, but totally agree. And then, then the top one, that's kind of where I was capturing funds and programs, nonprofits and service providers. I did miss that on the second one. So I agree with you there. Yeah, but it's easy enough to build, I yeah, think, yeah. some of that language in. Yeah. And the purpose of this is something to throw darts at. Yeah. Uh, that's what I like to throw it on the wall, throw it on the wall, start spitting on it and see what comes out of it. <laughs> but we're not actually going to spit on no, it. No, we're not going to do that. Yeah. Um, you know, on the value side, um, I just put down a list of items that I think you guys stand for, uh, what you currently have, what you do states, but there's some also other ones that I kind of thought about too. Um, how you frame that into a sentence or a, a statement depends on whether you want to do that or not. It can also just be a list of what we stand mm -hmm. for. This is how we want to be. This is what our organization is. This is the type of people we are. Um, and if there's others that we need to add or missed, uh, certainly open to that. So again, um, I wanted to get something as a talking point to allow people to work with, let you guys kind of go through that process, the strategic aspect of it and the, and the planning and the workshop, but at least it's a starting point and then you can start tearing it apart and figuring out what makes sense and what everybody's most comfortable with. Ultimately, at the end of the day, you've got to have, you know, yeah, that's it. That's us. <laughs> <laughs> that's our team. Well, I, I like this process that you put forward of, of talking about the vision first. Yeah. Too many times people struggle in a wordsmith to death, the mission statement, and then the vision is an after right. statement that doesn't yeah. really talk about what's the long range. So putting a long range set of conversations that is part of that vision yeah. will shape that mission statement completely. Absolutely does, and that's yeah. the hardest thing to do. Yeah, The vision statement has always historically been the harder thing because it's you have to encapsulate what you think you're going to look like in 10 years or yeah. so. Um, it takes some thought and some workshopping, but it, once you have it, um, then the other stuff does kind of flow from it pretty nicely. Yeah. And it should flow all the way down through the objectives um, of the individuals because you can barely point, yep, that's where I'm heading. <laughs> I like that. Yeah. yeah. So, Bill, I, um, I sent this to you as well. I, you know, you, we can uh, deal with this as yeah, we no, I, I I, I, I reviewed all that stuff, Mike, and, and I just want to say I thought you did a really nice job uh, with the framework of all that, and I, I uh, like I said, really, really nice job. I know we've kind of batted around a little bit uh, in strategic planning, and I think that, um, like, like I said, I think that that type of framework is just kind of what we need. Um, I would kind of propose moving forward that we just kind of take that framework and uh, work that into the uh, that strategic planning meeting that we have coming up, and then uh, the the board as a whole, we can kind of uh, you know uh, tweak that a little bit. But I, I definitely agree. It's the, the the biggest thing for us to do is kind of figure out what we want to say and what we stand for and what we're about, and then I think that the kind of words will flow from that. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. 
Great, but, thanks. Uh, but again, I appreciate it. I thought you did a great job. Thank you. Thank you. So any more discussion comments or from there? Go on to the next step. <laughs> it's a week from Saturday, is it? I don't know when it is. Mm -hmm. It's coming up. <laughs> it's uh, May 20th, so. Oh, it's still far, very far away. So far yeah, away. So far away. Here before we know it. Um, good. Well, we'll close that topic. The next one was more of just a more of a question than anything for me. It's just um, coverage and objectives for the two open forums that are coming up. Um, I think you guys have got it all figured out. I just, you know, I'm going to show up and I'm going to have my badge on. So, <laughs> yeah. so I want to I want to know if there's anything else we should all be kind of consistently talking about or if there are themes that we want to. So the the yeah. real point for the the public forum again these are not agendized right. or noticed which means that it is staff that is front and center right. um, so that the board can just mingle Good. it's a less formal structure okay. um, and it really is designed to be in response to the public special meeting we had where we saw a lot of misunderstanding and misinformation okay. about what the district's doing with the wellness center in particular. Yeah. So the, the concept, and, and Mike, you've seen some of the information boards I've put together, yep. is to have information available and we'll have it um, basically staffed by the staff uh, so that as community members come in, they are wandering through these posters and able to engage in areas where they have questions, mm -hmm. talk with staff. The idea is to have board present because obviously you should be present, mm -hmm. um, but hence the scheduling of who and when right. and, and such. I understand. Um, so the other part we'll have, besides having the posters available, I'll have a few areas where we have the giant whiteboard post-its, which are give us your opinion on the programming. Give us your opinion on what you think we should have here. Again, the idea is to frame it in this positive light of what would you like to see? Um, not, you know, bitch about the fact that the hospital's not here anymore. All right, well, here's why it didn't work. Mm -hmm. Okay, you want a 24-hour urgent care. You know what? It'd be great. Here's the information we have about it right now, and here's why we don't have one at this point. Yeah. We're still pursuing options. Okay. So the conversation is really about ongoing, but building from that misinformation sure. that we saw presented yeah. to us. Right. I like the uh, sticky note idea. That's a great way to sticky you know, note. To, is, it reduces the barriers for people to potentially get engaged, but right. they still get their opinion out. Still get their opinion out. And then depending on what feedback we get from that, um, we can do a more formal agendized notice one that is more um, board directed, if you will. Um, but let's see what kind of feedback we get first. We also can then take this feedback to the May 20th strategic planning so that you can build that into, in case something new and, and important comes up from it. Right. For, and then obviously that'll, yeah. that'll continue to feed strategic planning um, committee sure. going forward. No, that's good. Okay. Well, I just wanted to touch on it since it's coming up and mm -hmm. uh, make sure there's any that uh, we need to be aware of or we need to be thinking about. But no, and then just to so let you know, we, we put it in last week's newspaper. Mm -hmm. It's in this week's newspaper. Um, we've done one um, email blast. I have another one that I'll probably send out um, at the end of this week, first part of next week. Again, mm -hmm. put it in front of eyeballs. Um, we social had channels for going. All the social channels yeah, have been scheduled. Good. So we've hit good. all of the particular... The events yeah. that we use. Flyers mm -hmm. also, at, and we've been handing them out to people like today. Everyone who came to the event, I get, you know, invited them to be a part of the forum. So. Awesome. I'm looking forward to it. It should be fun. Yeah, I mean, hopefully we get a nice turnout. The idea of having a, a Thursday evening yeah. and then a Saturday should allow for different segments of our demographics as exactly. well. Exactly. Exactly. No, I think it's a minimum. That's, yeah, we'll see how it plays. Yeah. See what the attendance load looks like and then adjust from there. Is the intent, do you think, is this something that would be an annual process or every other year process? I mean, uh, you know what? I don't know. That's a good out. question. Since it's yeah. essentially the first time we've done it like this, yeah. um, the last time Bill was here uh, was really when the hospital and closure of the um, or the sale of the old hospital property. Oh, wow. So it's. Yeah, I mean, the ones we did during um, COVID with Catalyst, those focus groups. 
obviously we had a very different process right. because you couldn't meet people generally. Right. So we had very targeted focus groups with certain demographic groups. Mm -hmm. You're always going to have some selection bias when that happens. Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, just just to add to that, I think that we also had uh, a number of meetings that were kind of centered around the uh, blue zones uh, sort of right. idea over there at the wellness center when we first so we had right. that as well. Uh, right. Uh, just, uh, do we have uh, any plans uh, to provide any sort of drinks or snacks for, for these meetings or yeah, we'll, we'll, for that? We'll have We'll have some light refreshments available on both times, some some iced tea, some water, some lemonade, and mm. some cookies and cookies and cookies and cheese plates. Cookies and, cookies and cheese plates. A dunk tank, right? No, I no, no dunk tank. It's not that kind of event. Okay. We're gonna save uh, that for the maybe we'll save I that. I just thought maybe maybe some double IPAs or something. Uh, maybe not. <laughs> You broke up a little bit there. We couldn't quite understand you. Oh no! I was just saying it'd be nice uh, to have a couple couple IPAs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. You know what? That's a different kind of meeting, Bill. <laughs> different kind yeah. of meeting. <laughs> Trying to get some uh, community engagement here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying I disagree. I'm just saying I think it might be a different kind of meeting. <laughs> for the future or something. Maybe, maybe for the next one, you know, we'll invite the AA group and then we'll have some beer and wine in the corner. Nice. Excellent. And then the red eyes right above it. We can do the same. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. There you go. AA meetings are held right below the that's no, such, red eyes. That's such a good check it out. That's fine. They, at least they did a couple years ago. Wow. Unless it changed. Anyway. Anything fine. else on the uh, public forums? Final prep, you guys, no. sounds like you got rock and roll and it's ready to go. Yep. That's great. Yeah. Looking forward to it. We're just uh, finishing the posters. <laughs> uh, we finished the posters um, while I was out, the ladies were able to translate them. So now I need to just take the language and cut and paste it into the poster format. And then Teresa's um, working with our brand assassins to mm -hmm. do the printing of them. So that yeah. we'll have those, all those posters in both English and Spanish. Um, the nice part is that we're having an extra copy <clears throat> made so that they can live at both locations as well. Oh, good. Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. Okay. Uh, I just added this one. I just wasn't aware of calendarized. There's a lot of things going on, but are there any other outreach events, organizations that, you know, we need to be targeting or I should be targeting or events that I would be great if I could attend? Yeah. I just don't know yet. Um, so I'm just putting out that if there is something, let me know and I'll try to do my best to there yeah. is. You okay. save me an email. <laughs> There's the Chamber Expo at the end of May. I have to look up May 19th. Yeah. Are you, are you already having a booth there? I am not having a booth there now okay. for my, we, we will. But yeah. okay. May yeah, just, uh, yeah, one, yeah. That's a Friday because yeah. Saturday you'll be having a special meeting with us. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna get real tired of me. <laughs> you might get real tired of us. And then yeah. we, Provide the bags for the whole event, so everyone will their goodie bag will is provided from the district. So, yeah, he's coming. Up. Okay. So that's the only one right now on my radar. Um, I'll let you know um, about the the North County leadership um, team, and then I, you know, I don't. Nothing's coming to mind until we start getting into the Harvest Festival. Okay. Well, and hopefully by then, okay. that will not be your task. To bear. Um, so hopefully by then, the outreach and communications coordinator that will be part of the things that they will do. Throw them in the fire. Throw them in the fire. Oh, Absolutely. that's kind yeah. of what we do around. Probably already lit. Yeah. Yeah. It's smoldering over there. Right. Now it's time to add gas. Right. So the idea <laughs> is at that point that person is is working with um, the team, the whole team, to say, here's an event. Here's who's going. Here's the board. Um, because that's sometimes one of the challenges we're working and we're in the process we're getting it done we're signed up okay we're there oh we told the board but we never really followed up to make sure that hey you know bill your shift is from here and jennifer wants to do this right. and so on and so forth yeah it's kind so, of creating a hole yeah I, you know you don't know what you don't know so 
but yeah, I'm available and would like to help out where possible. Perfect. Excellent. Uh, I, I just I just have one event to add to that uh, real quick. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it just happened, uh, so it's too late to participate this year, but uh, the elementary school district has, uh, it's called the Don Dornan Games. Uh, every year uh, takes place over there at the high school. Uh, and I believe it's third through sixth graders that compete uh, doing various, uh, it's basically like a track meet. Uh, they compete in different things. Uh, but all the schools come out. Uh, the schools on base come out to compete. I believe the Bonzel schools. Uh, and then on top of it, the, uh, uh, a lot of the high schoolers are there like volunteering. So uh, it's a real good event, uh, I, I would say, as far as getting a good cross section of, of families and younger, younger people out or whatever. Uh, and definitely think that it kind of fits within the purview of, you know, what, what we're trying to do as far as promoting health and, and fitness and stuff like that. So uh, I'd, be, uh, I'd definitely be interested in trying to do something for that event next next year yeah yeah you know and, and bill that's i think that's on our radar uh with it happening this year the day before the avocado festival teresa and yeah. i were out the week of i mean it with diabetes happening i mean it i saw it come through and i thought all right how can we and i looked at i looked at staff schedules them all it's just not going to happen, but it absolutely is um, a very big community event. A lot of the Rotary clubs are out there volunteering, so it's a good one for us to be able to find a way to to support. And I think with the new youth grant, uh, youth sports grant, um, that might be a perfect opportunity for us to get networked. Yeah, for sure. Awesome. Sounds good. What was the name of that again? The Don Dornan Don Games. Dornan. Okay. And speaking of which. I have the um, top one people as the scar. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Excellent. As soon as I'm done with the budget, then I'll organize with those people. Um, <laughs> there is one other event that you might want to mark your calendar for, and that's September 30th, which is going to be our event, which is a back to school family event. We're going to have um, vision screening and vaccinations, and the sheriffs and the fire department are all going to be involved. Just um, you know, um, with the event, we don't have a name for it yet. We're going to start now that diabetes got launched. Now we've had everyone save the date, and now we'll be able to put more um, energy into that event. You're gone. Mammoth. <clears throat> annual annual trek to Mammoth. I'm missing the golf tournament too. This is just not working out well. <laughs> okay, well, somebody can step in hopefully. Good. Um, I don't have any other real future agenda. The biggest one for me that's going to stand out is a debrief next next time on the community forum. Yeah, because we'll, that'll be a good timing for it. Um, response to the, the information sent out, the posters, the, the questions, the summary of the well. And forward. this will be right after this meeting will occur after that big strategic planning workshop. Yeah. So a nice lot of that may there. come together there. Yeah. Okay. So I don't have any specific items. Bill, do you have anything for next no, meeting? I don't, have any, I don't have anything else. No, you're good. Our, I know we're on a monthly cadence, um, but if there really isn't something to talk about, is it acceptable to push it off a month? Because yeah. I don't want to waste everybody's time. We're just going to sit here and go, okay, nothing to talk about. Let's yeah. move on. Technically, according to our bylaws, this committee um, must meet at least quarterly okay it does not have to meet monthly that has just been the practice okay. of the previous All years right. <clears throat> i'm open to whatever you want to do here mike if you uh, have something you want to do next month as far as the agenda goes i'm, I'm up for meeting if not and, and you don't have anything pressing that you want to look at especially with all the other meetings that we have you know, oh, I, I would be totally fine for just push, pushing up there. yeah that's what i was kind of getting at because again if we've got something to talk about, great. If not, then there's no sense having the meetings. People are busy. Okay. Absolutely. Sounds good. Well, with that, if there's no other questions, comments, or concerns, we'll call it adjourned. Right. 610, you got it. All right. Thank Thanks, everybody. Right. Thanks, Bill. Thanks, Bill. All right. well, See you guys later. Yep. Bye-bye.